Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, just uh, your true force loser coming through with another update. Scraggly, a.k.a. Scraggly-ass neckbeard. Um, still no... Still a virgin. 28 now. 28-year-old virgin. Still a fucking loser. Um, probably will always be one. A loser and a virgin. Um... Pretty much just the scum of the earth, really. Like, if I had to rank myself, I would be, like, below rapist and murders and shit, like... Because... It's like... I don't know, man. It's pretty fucking pathetic, honestly. It's like the rapists and the murderers, they have the balls to go out there and do what they're gonna do, but me just a pathetic ass weak ass bitch ain't nobody want to be around that nobody want to be around that yep pretty much the scum of the earth like I always fail you know I've been playing guitar for 10 years now almost not Nine and three fourths, almost ten years. Ten years coming this uh, August, and uh, I still can't even play guitar, really, not that well. And I've poured hours and hours and hours into it, but when you just naturally suck dick at everything you do, it's just it's, it's rough. Um, just fucking pathetic man truly fucking pathetic like I can't even I can't even I don't even have the words to describe how pathetic I am oh my god that's frustrating but really the scraggly ass beard's getting cut off tonight so luckily I didn't have to go out and do much today so, looking real fucking raggedy. Let me clean this shit up. Uh, so that way I can be a, a shaven loser. Loser with decent hygiene. <laughs> just overall, just pathetic, man. I know dudes with lower, like, lower self-confidence that have gotten pussy. I mean, I've gotten rejected by four hookers. Uh, not that I paid them or anything, but it's like... There was arrangements made and, and it just never... The uh, hooker always cancels on me. Uh, whether that be at like the last minute or... Um, just didn't show up. Oh, you know how it goes. And then uh, a couple weeks ago... Or maybe it was like two months ago... Well, some time ago, a long time ago, see, I'm getting my days and shit all mixed up because I've been working these long-ass shifts, but sometimes, some, some fucking days ago, I was on Tinder and I just swiped to right for like two days straight and no replies. Pretty pathetic. Um, overall, just a fucking loser, just really pathetic really and to be honest it's really disheartening to be 28 and in this position I'm in and to have worked as hard as I have and to be where I'm at it just doesn't seem fucking worth it really like do I gotta keep busting my ass off and then I'll be in the same fucking position 10 years from now like, y'all know I've been playing guitar for 10 years and I still suck dick at it. And I've been making active efforts to get good at that. Same thing with the music, man. I just... Oh my god, that's so frustrating. There's nothing more frustrating than spending the bulk of your time trying to prove and then seeing no improvement at all. That is the most frustrating shit that... I can say that I've experienced. I don't know how it is for everybody else, but 
to spend years upon years beating on a craft and to have shown no progress in it, that can be pretty fucking frustrating. Pretty fucking frustrating. Um, it's one thing to beat on your craft and not really try at it, but when you're actually giving it effort and shit, and there's still no improvement, then, I mean, how do you assess that? That's just fucking frustrating. That's like some suicidal thoughts type shit. But, you know, what What can you really do about it? What What can you do about it? I mean, maybe, I don't, I can't even explain it. Like, if I knew what the fuck I was doing right or wrong, then I guess I wouldn't be doing it anymore, would I? But, it's fucked. It's like this scraggly ass beard, man. I can't wait to cut this shit off. Y'all can tell I'm doing great. Fucked up hair, fucked up beard. What a fucked up day, man. The whole fucking... I'm just looking around for cops, because you know how it is, man. They be pulling me over and shit. Asking me what the fuck I'm doing. Because it is kind of... I guess it is kind of weird fucking just chilling in a parking lot, fucking making a video. Although this parking lot in the middle of fucking nowhere. An abandoned fucking strip mall. So I don't know why the fuck they be pulling me over over here, but you never know. They could be thinking like it's some drug deal or some shit, so. But whatever. Um, just, god damn. I can't even, like, well, I can't say that I'll be a loser 10, 15, 20 years from now. Don't even know if I'll live that long, to be honest, because of my health issues. Man, I, it's been fucked. I haven't been getting any sleep. I can't sleep more than two or three hours a night because I got a real bad acid reflux and sleep apnea. So that shit keep me up. And then when I get up, I can't go back to bed. So I only get like two or three hours of sleep. Then I'll be dragging ass through the day. That's why my eyes are so fucking black right now. Look like I got into a, a fucking fight. I'm trying to f uh, fight and sleep. Fuck, man. Just... Overall, just dead ass tired. Fucking health going downhill. Who knows what the fuck's gonna happen? But like I said, it's it, overall just fucking. I'm, I'm a, I'm the definition of true forced loser. Never had sex. Twenty eight. Fucking pathetic, really. It's pathetic, like... And the whole thing that makes it pathetic is the fact that I attempted to get some hookers and even failed at that. And what was even more pathetic is it wasn't just one hooker. It was, like, four of them. Like, who the fuck fails four times in a row? On hookers? They'll sleep with anybody. <laughs> While I, I take that back. They'll, uh... Because obviously they won't. Because uh, they didn't sleep with me. But it is what it is. You know, you just... When you're just far down the fucking loser rabbit hole, it, you just can't get out of it. It's fucked. I'm kind of... Trying to... I, I'm at a point where I've just kind of accepted the fact that it's never going to happen. And that I've become a loser. Um, now it's more of a battle... Uh, more of a battle trying to acknowledge that and accept it for what it is and not trying to really fight it but just letting it go and being content with the fact that I'm never gonna have sex uh I'm never gonna have a stable relationship um and overall just never really gonna be cool enough to have any fucking even just friendships uh or people care about you. It's just... It's pretty pathetic, really. It honestly is. When you're this fucking far down the loser rabbit hole, ain't nobody give a fuck about you. It's disheartening, really. It's fucking depressing. My life, like... On some, like, Edgar Allan Poe shit. Like, fucking depressing as fuck, dude. 
but I don't really want any pity. I don't really give a fuck about all that. Um, cause you know, sometimes you know you just get the shit into the stick, man. You just look at it and you just, and you're on the end of that stick. Uh, and you know it. Uh, it's just really disheartening. But it is what it is, you know. You, you can't really. You can only do what you can do, and it, I'm putting in maximum effort, and it still ain't nothing. Ain't working. Um. I've even lost some weight, but I mean, I need. I still got a ways to go. But like, even when I was, even when I had, even when I was in shape, like I still wasn't getting no pussy. So, you know, what is it? What is it? It's like a something you can't get rid of. Something that's a part of you. And some people, most people, are not born with that. But I want to say there's a. A small percentage of people that are born with this innate loserness that you can't escape from, and I think the point of their them living their life is to finally accept that they just don't belong in this world, and there's nothing they can do to change that. And uh, man, that's a that's a rough thing to accept because. Acknowledging you're a loser in this world and that you don't belong, man. It just why would you want to provide ser- your services to s- people who don't really even give a fuck about you? And then you, and then you think about all the suicide shit, and it just gets pretty rough, man. But some days I wonder, like, would that is suicide the better route here? Is that really the only way to finally accept accept it for what it is? But who knows, man. Who fucking knows? Um, but yeah, I mean... They, they say it comes down to personal responsibility, but... And I, to a degree it does, but like I said, you can plant the seeds... But you can't make it rain. You can be ready for the opportunity, but... Sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you thought it was going to. Like, you can put in all the effort you want, but sometimes the payout, you know, it just isn't there. So what do you do? You take your losses and move on. And sometimes you just take too many damn losses and you're just feeling, feeling like shit, just feeling like a loss, feeling lost. Feeling like you just don't know what the fuck you're doing. Too many losses at one time. And it makes you feel like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And then it gets even deeper than that. Start fucking second questioning. I'm so damn tired. Start second questioning your existence. And then. God damn. It's just so depressing man. This this is. (laughs) This is up there with one of the most depressing videos I've ever made. But I mean. It's all true though. So what do you do about it you know. And it's not like you're trying to find pity or any, anything. It's just that you just don't want to be in that situation, man. You just don't want to be that guy, that loser. I mean, what do you do about it? Especially when you're putting in effort to make it make it change, but nothing ain't happened. No progress. It's like me playing guitar for ten years. No progress. Me, it's just frustrating, man. Frustrating and depressing. Empathetic. It's like, what do you do about it? What do you do about it? Ain't much you can do about it. You just gotta accept it. 
But on that note, I don't really have much else to say. Just kind of real depressed. Yeah. See, that's that's probably apparent. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.